戦略シミュレーション。タイニーメタル。What's happening, guys? Rise up 44 here on LEO Gaming. We're checking out Tiny Metal on the PlayStation 4. We have campaign, skirmish, multiplayer coming soon. Unlocks, Metalpedia, and Meta. Alright, let's check out the campaign. 50 years have passed since the worldwide conflict known as the Great War. After much devastation and bloodshed, mankind finally put down its arms and at last gained a moment, a moment of respite. The scars of the war ran deep, and the planet was covered in dense, impenetrable miasma several miles deep. The effects from the weapons that were used during the war still caused electronic interference, rendering technology unreliable at best and humanity has faded into darkness a shadow of its former glory the fight for survival over the remnants of civilization led to numerous conflicts over scarce resources well after the great war tragedy was painted over by further tragedy and mankind continued its spiraling downfall the kingdom of Artemisia, a nation filled with beautiful mountains and forests, rivers and valleys, was ever the target of its jealous neighbors and could not remain unscathed from the cauldron of war. Artemisia was forced to continuously defend its borders, each time its wary defenders successfully repelling the invaders. The Battle of Zeltzer, Artemisia's last known conflict. History records it as another invasion into Artemisia territory, only just successfully repelled by its ardent defenders. A brief period of peace came to the people of Artemisia. However, no one was aware of the sinister shadow left behind from the conflict. Until one day, the Artemisian king's royal plane shot down. The king of Artemisia was viciously shot down and ruthlessly killed on his return from a diplomatic mission by a sudden attack from an unidentified aircraft, sending great ripples of grief and agony throughout the kingdom. Amongst the missing was the hero of Zeltzer. Colonel Luja Lindbergh, a disgusted, I'm sorry, a distinguished, a distinguished officer who led Artemisia into a miraculous victory was aboard an escort fighter which was never to be found. The people of Artemisia held their breath in anticipation of the news over the fate of their decorated war hero. After further visual analysis from the video footage acquired by the only surviving escort fighter, analysis were able to discern, discern the mastermind of the assassination, the self-isolating mysterious nation of Zaipeng. While the shogunate of Zaipeng held countless debates over the issue, the citizens of Artemisia filled their hearts with rage. Lord Isoroku Sukum Sukomo, the ruling lord of the influential Sukumo clan, he is a well-respected leader and warrior known for his valor and sense of justice. The assassination of a foreign king of no interest. The accusation was beyond comprehension for the Zaipanese high command. A dishonorable act at best, impossible for a nation that values honor and duty above all else. Zaipeng verified that their military deployment logs for that day showed that no military aircraft had flown out of their airspace, believing this is a trap. Tsukomo counseled caution and discretion. However, Tadaki Tatara, Tartara, whose clan had a similar standing to Tsukumo's own, vehemently, vehemently spoke against. Artemisian slanderous accusations, calling the insult a, a stain on Zaipeng's honor and international reputation, and insisted that the only answer to this grave and heinous act was a punitive military action against Artemisia. Tatera's passionate call to act action struck a note with the Zaipanese high command, and after conferring with each other, decided to strategize 
a retaliatory attack. A full invasion was never planned. The attack was simply to give a proportionate response. Thus, a single infantry division of the Zaipeng military set forth upon the rough seas, the kingdom of Artemisia firmly in their sights. In charge of the Artemisian northwest region's coastal defense, Nathan Greece and his forces re receive intel on the impending attack of the inbound Zaipanese forces. Not fully recovered from their wounds from Zeltzer, the battle-worn nation musters its soldiers once again to answer the call to war. The fight begins here as the sparks of conflict fly and start the fuel once more on the ever-growing pyre of yet another great war. I can't yet give up on the idea that the king and the colonel are still alive. Colonel Lindbergh and our king have to be alive somewhere, just waiting to be rescued. They must be somewhere. As the unit responsive for Artemisia coastal defense, we must find out the location of our kings and colonel's aircraft by any means possible. Either they had to ditch their aircraft at sea or crashed on the coastline. Finding shelter in a cove, they must be out there waiting to be found. Commander, a report from our recon team, a signal from an unidentified source near the coast. Could it be? Could it be Colonel Lindbergh's craft washed ashore? We're not receiving a response, sir. The source of the signal is approaching our position. It's here, sir. It appears to have washed up on shore. Go to orange alert. Continue hailing them. I'm heading to the command center. The Mayasama is creating too much electronic interference and lowering our visibility range. Please, let it be Colonel Lindbergh. Do you read? I repeat, identify yourself. No response. Assume unidentified unit as a threat and prepare to engage all units battle stations. Yes, sir. This is Lieutenant Nathan Grease of the Artemisian 1st Army. Unidentified unit, halt your advance immediately. This is not a warning. This is an order. Further incursion will be seen as an act of invasion of Artemisia. No response, sir. They are continuing towards us. We have no choice. All units prepare to intercept. This is not a drill. We must stop their advance here. Sir, yes, sir. With Colonel Lindbergh missing, it's all up to me now. Sir, we're not... Sir, we're at combat readiness. Okay, let's practice movement. Select a unit to move. Tiles you can move to are highlighted in blue. Once you have moved, please select another action. You can cancel a given order even if you make a mistake, so stay calm if you make a mistake. Roger that, sir. Don't push yourself, soldier. After movement, watch as our vision expands. Sir, we have sighted the enemy. Right. Close in on your target and attack. If possible, flank the enemy by attacking from the sides or behind. Flanking deals increased damage and crit chance. Thank, thank you, sir. I'll try to do that. Battle. Day one. Okay. Forest. Okay. I get it. Hill. Okay, so we select the unit. And we can move to the blue tiles. Infantry on the move. And then pick a direction. And then we can either attack. Assault. This action will move the defending unit away from the tile it's occupying. It's a great way to push an enemy unit away from a city tile or escape from being surrounded or locked on. However, if there's unpassable terrain behind the unit, then the unit will remain stationary. The defending unit shoots first. That's not good. Lock on. All right, so let's lock on. And then let's select our second unit. Move him here. And let's go ahead and attack. Focus fire, assault, lock on. Let's focus fire. All units, open fire. I like that. So both of my units attack. Take out everybody but one. Now it's their turn. What did he just do? Okay. He came to my side. He didn't take out any of my guys. We took out him. That fight. Oh, shoot. Sir, the enemy has counterattacked. Calm down, soldier. Let me think. 
I know. Take to the hills. Forests and hills provide defense, reducing damage received. Look to the bottom right of the text of the screen for defense values. You should be able to see the details. Again, don't push the squad too hard. Once a unit's size diminishes, damage dealt to the enemy also decreases. Yet the same rules apply to the enemy as well. In other words, sir, he who strikes first wins. Correct. Take the initiative. Acknowledge. Acknowledge and understood, sir. Artemisia. Okay. Rifleman, ready and waiting. The king. Let's lock on with him, and then let's take this guy. Let's go next to him. Let's open fire. Overkill. Silver plays David Trouble. All units. Casualty report. Commander, we found this. This must be the enemy's crest. We have very little information on Zaipang, but this seems to be from the famous Tsukomo clan. It would mean that units under Lord Tsukumo's clan are behind the invasion. Zaipang? Sir, do you mean the isolated island nation of Zaipang? Yes, and within that enigmatic con country, this is the Tsukumo clan crest, which is said to be one of the highest ranking vassals to Shogunate. If our king and colonel's aircraft crash landed in Zaipang's territory, the video of the attack make, makes it clear that the colonel's aircraft suffered critical damage. All I know is that we need to find the aircraft, whether the colonel survived the crash or not. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Commander, the remaining hostile forces seem to be in full retreat. Ready a rooting force immediately to pursue the enemy. Yes, sir. Watch over me now, Colonel Lindbergh. We will bring justice for you and our king. I see they finally mobilized their forces. We cannot let this opportunity pass. Time to make con contact with the Artemisians. Victory! Total score, 302. Okay. Mo two. Okay, mission two: the lone wolf. After a successfully de defense against the invading Japanese forces on Artemisia, Nathan's forces begin a counteroffensive action against Zaipan. Their objective was. Tokijima, with the Tsukomo clan crest left from the initial contact, it was clear that the enemy was the Tsukumo clan. Now, Nathan and the Artemisian first face yet another trial by fire. Commander, we're approaching the island. All crew prepare for landing action. Our objective is to secure Tokijima under Zaipan control. Hold on, are they Zaipan? Zaipanese reinforcements? Hold your fire. We are not the Zaipang military. We are the White Fangs. White Fangs? You must be White You must be White Fangs, the mercenaries. What is your business here? I am Wolfram, acting leader of the White Fangs. We were running a covert pursuit of Zaipanese forces when we ran into your unit. This transmission identification code, you must be the Armasians. What are you doing here? 
Do you mind telling me first why you thought the mercenaries are here? I'm asking you. What are Artemisian forces doing on this island? Is it true what they say about Zaipanese invasion of Artemisia? Let me make this quick then. I'm after Zaipang myself. Why don't we join forces and fight together? Why should we associate with the likes of you, a ragtag militia with no nation to call home? You don't have to if you don't want to. We just happen to have the same objective, the Zaipanese army. I see your point. We do share a common enemy. However, what is your reason for pursuing the Zaipanese army? We are mercenaries. It is our business to look for battle. What worthless dogs of war. Don't get me wrong. This is just business. If it means work, we'll fight anyone. But without compensation, we don't want to fight anyone. Iron resolve, alert mind, and proven skills to finish the mission. These are... Our tributes are the pride of our mercenaries, of any mercenary. You sound pretty sure of yourself. Well, let's set the record straight here. We aren't going to war for our own self-satisfaction. We're fighting for peace. Is that so? If that's how you see it, why don't you let us take some of that burden off your shoulders? Then we can contribute to your so-called peace. If you so insist, we can go for a joint operation. We are the Artemisian First Army. I am Second Lieutenant Nathan Greece. A deal it is. From this moment, the White Fangs of the Ulrich Company will now be under the command of Second Lieutenant Nathan Greece. My call sign is Wolfram. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Up ahead, we've spotted an unoccupied city and factory. Alright, we are going to capture it. I see the capturing of the buildings. Use the capture building command from the unit action menu. You, you gain capture points equal to the size of the capturing unit. Once you reach a certain point, you can control the building. All right. Riflemen ready and waiting. For Artemisia. To fully capture a building, we need to select the capture command one more time. Let's give it a go. This turn's capture points will be added on top of the previous turn's points. Try not to let the capturing units be attacked during the capturing process. One other thing. As a unit takes casualties, it takes longer to capture a building. Be careful. The capture city will produce 100 metal coins every turn. You can use metal coins to produce military units at, at factories. Alright. Sir, your orders? Okay, I get it. Look over here at hill. Hills provide a great defense bonus. They also increase visibility.
If you see a strange looking building, there might be something in it that you can use. That's what I intend to do. Sometimes you might find information on enemies and weapons. Sir, your orders? Affirmative. Orders received. Waiting orders, sir. Double time. Daicho, mei no mai no shinrin shitai kara netsu. Commander, we have detected a moving heat signature in the forest ahead. Riflemen would be useless against it, but anti-vehicle lancers would be great against it. After capturing a factory, you can recruit a lancer. Metals take a penalty to their mobility when they move through forests. If we can somehow escape into the forest, then we might have a chance at winning. However, the problem is how to get close to them. It seems to be quite the task to get close to them. However, there's no time to lose, right? Hmm, that seems to be the case. Awaiting orders, sir. Affirmative. Orders received. G'day. Don't worry, be happy. Orders received. Don't worry, be happy. You have got Buckley's mate. No mucking around. Tank, not good. Oh, boy. Oh, they didn't take out too many guys. Okay. What's new? Bonza.
fits it right. Riflemen ready and waiting. Infantry on the move. Covering fire. Yeah, no, yeah, okay, mate. No drama. Awaiting orders, sir. Double time! <clears throat> that all you've got, mate? Not good. G'day. Fair dinkum. Sir, your orders for Artemisia. All units, open fire. You want to live forever? <clears throat> Not good. Ooh, good boss. Silver PlayStation trophy. Oh, not good. Not good at all. Alright, here we go. G'day. Bonza. Did sit, right? Sir, your orders? For Artemisia! Covering fire! All units, open fire! First freedom! <clears throat> Come on, you bludgers! Alright, two out of three got taken out. Not too bad. Riflemen, ready and waiting. Affirmative. Orders received. Yeah, no, yeah, okay, mate. Bonds up. Riflemen, ready and waiting. For Artemisia! Yeah, no, yeah, okay, my bonds up. Awaiting orders, sir. Infantry on the move. What's new? No drama. Dead set, mate.
Ye have got Buckley's brakes in, mate. That's a little overkill, but... I thought the Armagians were just good for nothing pacifists, but they've been trained well. Needless to say, personally, I could care less about these Zyphonies. But we also know Orzio is making plans to negotiate with White Fang's main force. There's a good chance that Orzio will contact us if we operate with the Artemisians. I'm going to make full use of you, young lieutenant. Victory! It's pretty cool. Nathan and his troops successfully landed on the Zyponese territory of Tokijima. As Nathan's forces cut across Tokijima towards the Zyponese mainland, they were confronted by Tokijima Defense Force. We've completely secured the western half of the island. We will now commence operations to secure the eastern half. Much of the operational success so far is to the credit of the White Fangs. We thank you for your help. You're welcome. We were simply doing our job. However, I'd also prefer if you were so overly familiar anyway. I've got to get back to my equipment's maintenance. Sir, time for the briefing. Thank you. I'm on my way. The eastern half of the island is covered in forests. We need to advance carefully while making use of the terrain near the main highway. Commander, an enemy scout is approaching. Dead ahead, we'll intercept them. Hold on, it's a bit too early for that. Initiate the lock-on command instead. Lock-on, sir? That's the one when you use the lock-on, the unit gets ready to fire at the moment's notice, then use focus fire? Yeah, I've been doing that. By combining more than one unit's firepower? Yeah, I have been doing this. Alright, Roger that, sir. Battle, day one. <clears throat> What's new? Bonza. Dead set, mate. You have got Buckley's no nice. mucking around. There we go. Rank up. Riflemen ready and waiting for the king. Oh, geez, they're way up there. An enemy vehicle division is approaching us from just ahead, sir. We cannot muster a solid defense with our current firepower. We can't give up just yet. There's got to be a factory near this area. If we find it, we can make a metal. We can make metal to turn the tide. To wipe out the enemy units in front of us. We'll need that metal. That metals can. First, we have to find that factory. <clears throat> yes, sir. All right. Maybe this one. Yeah, that one. Let's take out him first. Did I? Fair dinkum. Dead set, mate. You have got Buckley's nice. mucking around. Sir, your Order. infantry on the move. They got buildings up there. We can't see what's going on, though, because they're too far away. <clears throat> no need to worry. Even if the enemy pops up right in front of us, you can find out an enemy's movement and attack range just by moving your cursey onto them. All right, we need to make some progress. Did I? Riflemen ready and waiting. Double time.
They were making their way towards us. By using action sections, attack and capture, rank sir. You got it, the unit ranks up. It will be more effective. A unit's rank is in the HP. Waiting orders, sir. Double time! Yeah, nah, yeah, I okay, came, mate. Gonza. <laughs> Man, they're capturing all sorts of buildings. Ready and waiting. You're right, mate. Fear Dinko. I don't know if this is going to go so well. Waiting orders, sir. Double time. All right. You're right, Mike. Don't worry, be happy. Oh, they're getting closer. They said, oh, he's in sight. Sir, your orders? Affirmative. Orders received. Income. 
Riflemen ready and waiting. Infantry on the move. Not good. Not good at all. We might lose this battle, actually. You're right, mate. On zap. On the move. All units, open fire. Sucked in might. For freedom. Just a scratch. Oh, not good. Not good. They just got that building right there. They're getting really close. It looks like they have two more units that we can't see. Oh. Getting close. There they are. Alright, they're right out of the... Man, they're close. Scouts ready to show you the way. Scouts rolling out. Sweet. Everyone, get ready. You're right, Mike. Don't worry, be happy. Dead set, Mike. Riflemen, ready and waiting. For Artemisia! Oh man, where'd he come from? No bucket around. Not good. We only took out three. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Got a nice little battle going. Oh man, they got a bunch of troops, huh? They came prepared. We need this yeah, guy. Uh, yeah, okay, mate. Sir, your orders? Affirmative. Orders received. Ready 
not good. Oh, my troops didn't fight. What? Why didn't they fight? Oh, that's not good. What's new? Bombs up. Shoot. That sucks. Something might. All right, that was okay. I uh, had only two of them. Well, they just got another building. Damn, man, they're doing way better than we are. We might not be ready for this. for this. We're getting destroyed. Oh no, we took them all out. That's awesome. Okay, that's good. That's huge. Engage. You want to make the Alright, we took out three. They're probably gonna take out three. Oh, they took out four. That's not good. right here they got a lot of troops one left this is crazy Only yep flesh wound. <laughs> dude we're getting destroyed right now holy crap this is not good not good at all oh my gosh they just took out at least half my troops. Maybe more. They did take out more. What am I talking about? Metal's rolling out. This is no time for standing around. Come on, really? Mobilizing. My God, Kaboom! 
That was a waste. Rifleman, oh, that was waiting. such a waste. That was stupid. Affirmative. Orders received. Oh my god. This is so bad. We're in such bad shape right now. For one, right? Yep. This is no time for standing around. Blazing a trail. Cha -ching. <gasps> oh no. Oh, I thought that was a tank. Oh shoot. No, no, no. See ya. Stupid, I hit the wrong button. Nerves of steel. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Oh my gosh. They're about to sandwich my guy. Oh, that's it. That's that. What do I got? One, two troops left? One left, because they're about to take them out. This is brutal. Oh, this is brutal. What's new? Don't worry, be happy. Dead safe. Come on, you bludgers. my guys Wham, bam. Thank you, bam. damn it damn it oh my god I didn't even see them where'd they come from just a scratch Why can't I go to the right? That doesn't even make sense. That's kind of silly. Did I 
How did I pull that off? How did I pull that off? Oh, and this isn't good though. They still might beat us. Oh, we only took out one of their guys. That's silly. Oh my gosh. Awaiting orders, sir. For the king! not good. I thought I was going to take out more of those guys. What's new? Bonza. Riflemen, ready and waiting. Infantry on the move. Gosh, only three of them. And they took out three of mine. Okay. Rifleman, ready and waiting. Wow, it's still my turn. Why? Double time. Why is it still my turn? Sir. Affirmative. Orders received. Oh, you can heal. I didn't even know that. Awaiting orders, sir. I wonder why it keeps being my turn. Maybe they don't have they don't Infantry have something. One guy left. I got three left. Four left. Did I? 
fighters won. Mobilizing. Moving to engage. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. One guy left. All right, that was a pain in the ass. I don't know how I came back. I don't understand it. They probably could have destroyed me. I mean, maybe the math didn't add up and I could have won the whole time. I don't understand that, but that was pretty cool. Coming back from behind and winning. That's definitely cool. What a cool game. I, I really like it a lot. All right, well, that's where I'm going to end my first gameplay with Tiny Metal by Area 35 here on the PlayStation 4. I appreciate you watching on Nelly Go Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nelly Go Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me here on Nelly Go Gaming. So, it's pretty cool that you can unlock different things and, you know, you kind of progress up the ranks. Uh, you have like the SUVs and or the the Hummers, um, the military attack vehicles, whatever you want to call them. Um, then you move up to a tank, and then there seems to be this like gigantic tank, uh, missile defense systems, and then we get helicopters and jets and all sorts of crazy stuff. This game's awesome. I can't wait to play more. This intro is bonkers. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys soon.